What's going on everybody, Fetter here from 3D Print SOS. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be tackling by far the most requested video from me on this channel and that is automatic bed leveling on the Voxlab Aquila and the Ender 3 V2. Wait, but Fetter, you said you don't need an ABL on such a small machine. Well, yeah, for sure, but it is really easy to install. It's super convenient. It's on sale right now. And uh, maybe this machine's gonna get an Ender Extender Kit. Today, I'm gonna be featuring the CR Touch by Creality. It is a brand new sensor, and it is a direct replacement for a BL Touch uh, uh, type sensor. There's also BL Touch cr uh, clones that also work really well. Uh, they tend to not be exactly as precise, but they have been working really well in many, many reported cases. So I'll actually have links to all three uh, because I think they're all viable uh, for this machine. So I went with the Creality CR Touch. One, it's currently on sale, which is really nice. Two, I really like the aesthetics of it. It's, it's black, it doesn't have that white exterior as the BL Touch, although it has the kind of like an iconic look. Even all the clones went for exactly the same thing. But the CR Touch also has a metal probe on like the BL Touch. So it's something interesting for, uh, for me to experiment with and check out at least. For this video, I do have a couple other products that I'm gonna be featuring. One is a 3 fourths uh, inch uh, loom wire loom um, the benefit of this is once you run your own loom that is open uh, you're able to remove wiring and add wiring really easily in this case we're adding a wire but in this in the case of uh, a broken thermistor or a heater cartridge that you need to change this will make something like that much much easier uh, later in the future the other thing you can do is use zip ties to attach it all and hold it, but I don't like the way the zip ties can be sharp sometimes, and they kind of have that box that sticks out. So for this, for this, I'm using this tape, fabric tape by Tessa, and this stuff is awesome because it sticks to itself really, really well, and it's originally meant for uh, making wire harnesses uh, for automotive purposes. So this is perfect for anything wire related. Now, you could use electrical tape as well, but in my, in my experience, electrical tape around warm uh, parts like this uh, tends to get a little bit of gooey on the sides and things like that, and this tape stays uh, the way it is uh, from start to finish, which is really, really nice. And when you buy both the loom and the tape, you get so much of it, you can use it on other electrical electronic projects, other printing projects, so it's actually really useful to have. So in this video, the only other thing you're going to need other than these is a 3D printed bracket that I found on Thingiverse. Um, there are brackets that the CR Touch comes with that do work, but some of them require you to drill, some of them require only to use one piece of hardware instead of two. Uh, just something about it doesn't seem like uh, the cleanest option. So that's what I wanted to do, and I actually got my own uh, two three millimeter nuts uh, so that the hardware on the mount isn't upside down. That way you just put, uh, hold the nut on the bottom, put the screw in from the top, and everything looks nice and clean for the install. So I'm gonna do this video a little bit differently. The installation is very easy. You essentially install the sensor onto your pre-drilled spots on your printer, and then you run the wire and you plug it into the motherboard. That's the installation. The second half of it is just firmware. It's installing a pre-compiled firmware. In the case of the Voxlab Aquila specifically, you have two options. One, you can install software from Voxlab itself, from the Voxlab website, uh, and soon they will be adding uh, compatibility for H32 machines. Uh, at the moment, G32 and N32 machines are already compatible with the stock firmware. And also, uh, both of those machines can also use the uh, Alex's fork of the Gyres UI. If you have an Ender 3, you can just use uh, the standard Gyres firmware. Uh, there's already pre-compiled uh, bins for uh, the BL Touch, which the CR Touch is technically a yet another clone of. So it will work right from you know the installation from the SD and everything seems to be perfectly fine and extremely easy. Now in this video I'm not going to feature too much of the firmware stuff. I've just recently done two uh, videos on how to install uh, firmware and I'll link them down below so that you know how to do it. But this is just going to be a reel, an installation reel of uh, how I routed the wiring and how I installed the CR Touch on the Aquila. I've used it for a couple of prints now and it's been absolutely perfect and flawless. So, without further ado, let's go check out this installation reel. Enjoy.
All right, there it is, the CR Touch from Creality on the VoxLab Aquila 3D printer. It does make leveling extremely easy. So if you're if you're the type of person that's having a problem leveling or just too hard to get into or you don't like how long it might take you when you're doing it, definitely the way to go. It is an extremely easy installation. Slap it onto your printer, plug it into your motherboard. You can zip tie. You don't have to go through the process of redoing the entire wire loom. Uh, install your firmware and you're set to go. One of the easiest modifications that I've done on the machine for sure. Um, now, as far as this wire loom goes, I replaced it all the way from the hot end to the motherboard, and that allows me to easily remove any wires or add any wires if I need to. For example, if the thermistor ever goes bad or the, or the um, heating element, I can always re remove the entire wire very quickly. So definitely a nice future proofing modification uh, using this split wire loom and this really, really great fabric uh, tape from Tessa. This stuff's originally meant for a wire looms on vehicles. It sticks to itself really well and doesn't have that sticky residue that electrical tape uh, has. Uh, zip ties will also work fine, but zip ties, when you cut them, you can uh, snag yourself on them. They're, they're just annoying, the little piece that sticks up. So I really definitely recommend you checking out this tape. As far as the firmware goes, I've covered how to install firmware on these machines several times on this channel. I'll link them down below. But essentially, you have two options with the VoxLab Aquila specifically. You can use Gyres UI. There's plenty of BL Touch versions, both for the G32 uh, and the N32 versions of these machines. And also uh, from VoxLab themselves, they also include a BL Touch enabled version of their firmware on their website. And I just spoke to them about the H32 machine, and they They've uh, told me that within a week or two, they're going to be releasing a BL Touch version uh, of the firmware for the H32 Aquilas, which is really great news. That means everyone can get automatic bed leveling, as it should be, right? So, you know, as far as uh, the BL Touch for me, definitely recommend it. Um, if you uh, if, if it's not something that you need for these machines, but in my particular case, this printer is gonna get much larger. So I got the opportunity to install this thing beforehand so that I could show you guys how it works on these machines. And uh, I must say, hey, it is easy. I never minded leveling with a piece of paper and I've never actually had problems with leveling these small machines uh, because they tend to stay true for a little bit longer. But if you're going 300 or even 400, why that is a massive massive bed that's still sitting on the same springs and the same wheels so it can get wonky much easier so having an automatic bed leveler on a larger machine uh, is definitely a good idea and a luxury for these small machines so the cr touch currently is on a massive sale which is really awesome it makes it really affordable and almost a no-brainer if you have an extra 35 40 bucks um, However, I hear that the BL Touch clones that are really inexpensive work almost exactly the same way. The good news for that is if you do have one of those uh, BL Touch or BL Touch clones and it's already installed and it's working, you can get the CR Touch and it is a direct uh, replacement. Even the wire is the same. You don't have to do anything if you want to upgrade to this. Uh, um, version of uh, the touch sensor. I do like this one in particular because of the black cover on it. I like the aesthetics. It has a purple and, and uh, red LED in it. And most importantly, it has a metal uh, probe unlike the other two that have a plastic probe. The only thing that I can say that's negative about this is my particular version during moves has a small vibration from, and I don't know if you can hear it, right here. It has a small vibration from the probe itself. Uh, so I'll be messaging Creality to see if it's just mine or this is just the nature of the beast. But it does make a very, very slight vibration sound occasionally. Um, so that's just, it's worth noting for sure. Otherwise, all the prints that I've tried so far have had an absolute perfect first layer. So I'm very happy with the modification. All right, so there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed that installation reel. If you have any questions for me, let me know down below. Be sure to give this video a like and check out that Discord that I set up for this channel. Lots of people in there helping each other out, uh, sharing prints, so on and so forth. So as always, guys, thank you, and uh, I'll see you in the comments. Later.